Did I you was. see? I actually, it was. It surprised me. So, uh, I was walking downstairs in the building. I work in the steel building downtown, and I had already picked out my awesome thing of the week. And lo and behold, on like I don't know if it was CNBC, one of the they have they now have TVs all over the lobby doing news all the time. Um, they they this was actually front and center. I'm like, hey, that's I'm doing that for our awesome cast today. So my item is, and I don't even know what it what is called. <laughs> Honestly, August's it's made by August. It's a dead. It's a it's an electronic deadbolt, and one of the things. That, that I always look for is it's actually just called August. Um, one of the things I look for, and it, the better picture is if you scroll down to the break apart of the lock. There you go. Um, so it's, it replaces your deadbolt and it, you can also slide it over the deadbolt. So you don't actually have to replace your entire lock mechanism and rekey everything. Cool. So this is big for people in apartments too, right? Like one of the things that that was a pain when when we rented an apartment and moved to a house, any of the plugs that I had replaced or any anything that I had modified, I now then had to dismantle and take out of the house or out of the apartment when we moved into the house and then take out their plugs and replace them with my plugs. So this kind of gives you a nice alternative to being able to a unlock your door from your cell phone. B, obviously, it still allows you to use the existing external piece of the lock mechanism and use the, all the same keys. Um, and, and you can unlock your door. Um, it runs on, it looks like two AA batteries, which is something that seems like everybody's doing. Obviously, you have to run electrical to this. Um, it's a little pricey at $250. Um, but I would actually think about getting it based on the fact that a lot of my family needs to get into the house at different times to, you know, change kitty litter while we're away on vacation um, or just being able to not not have to drop keys off at people's houses and stuff like that if, if they're if they're house sitting for us. So with this, you can give electronic keys um, and, al- and allow people to unlock your door and also revoke those keys. One of the things that this was announced a while back and it took them a little while longer than they had expected, but it was because they were trying to get it to work with as many deadbolts as possible. Um, some people are questionable about the device because it only replaces your deadbolt. It does not replace the lock on the actual handle or the, the doorknob part. Um, we rarely lock the doorknob part, to be honest with you. We're always flipping the deadbolt. So to me, and I think like at my grandparents' house and my my mom's house she only has a deadbolt with a lock they have like the pretty ornate key or button that you push down for the other part so i I don't know i'm I'm definitely thinking about this i'm waiting to see more reviews of people who have it um obviously it relies on bluetooth le so a lot of the windows phone devices are going to be out um, in the forefront but ios and androids devices should have no issue with it and this is mostly independent like this isn't something that's going to tie into like the rest of your automation or i don't know so or obviously maybe home kit is going to solve maybe all home kit's <laughs> going to solve all that right so if if it if they're home kit compliant i really don't have to worry about it um and how much do you really need to tie into the rest of well i guess if i mean we always have our deadbolt locked we don't leave the front door unlocked at any given time. Mm-hmm. So it's not like I would set it like when I'm, when I hit go to bed at night and certain lights turn on and certain lights turn off and certain other things occur. It's not like I need it to lock the door because we always have our door locked. Not that we live in a bad neighborhood or anything. It's just out of habit, I guess. <laughs> I don't it's just this day and age. Yeah. I, I, I've always, I've always locked my dead bull when I came home. Mm hmm. Of course, everywhere I've lived, also the the door didn't always stay shut if you didn't lock the deadbolt. So, <laughs> um, I don't know. I, I could I could see it being useful. I I like the idea. I also like the idea of I'd probably put it on the back door first because coming up from bringing in groceries from outside, you mm-hmm. get close to the door, or you could remotely unlock it and just push the door open on the way in. So I don't know. I I. 
like I said, $250 is a little steep. I want to see some reviews. Are we going to see firmware updates for these types of hardware, things of that nature? I have some Wemo light switches mm -hmm. and um, outlet pass throughs. And I, the, the good and bad is I probably get firmware updates every three months. So you have to update the firmware on your light switch and update. And that's that's a firmware. Belkin. That's a Belkin. product that looks like. Yeah, I think I found it here. Yes, and I love that light switch too because when it's when the lights are off, the little black dot in the center of the button mm -hmm. illuminates. Oh, so you can see the light in in the pitch black of the room. You can see where the light switch is, and when you turn it on, the light goes off. So, and it flashes yellow when it's getting a firmware update. Nice. Nice. Jim Loke, you got an awesome thing of the week as, as well. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. Do you like professional wrestling? Want your discussions? No holds barred. Check out wrestlingmayhemshow.com for all the wrestling podcast flavor you can handle. <laughs> 